So what do we do? I need a moment to think before you backwash words. This shit gives me the creeps. Figured they'd be some kind of cop. So did you call the police then? I'm not related. Lack of cause for concern said I barely knew her. But I know what she's going through. Can't rely on them anyway. Called on your ex as well. She reckons Eleanor ran away. Flashed me some note Eleanor left, but I didn't buy it. Lucky I spotted the hotel card before she did. She also didn't believe Eleanor would have hired me to find you. Five star reviews there. So here I am, stuck with the only one who barely knows Look, her. Look, I get it. No, no, you don't. Eleanor may have been taken, but to her, you've been missing a lot longer. What's she like, Eleanor? Not the first time I've had to describe a child to their parent. Slim, average height, stubborn. Dry sense of humor, but is there. You can see she's smart, calculated, but kind. Nice to me, anyway. I saw a lot of myself in her. And I won't let that happen again. It changes you. Being taken. Takes all that away. Is that what happened to you? There's two choices that make sense. See her in the cute red mask? That's the cleaner. Caught sight of her upstairs. She's got to know where Eleanor is. Housekeeping's always a good source. Or the big fella. Dorman's bound to know where she's being kept. Probably carried her in. That's what I'm here thinking. Could try sweet-talking her, but he'll need more persuading. Her. I don't need you, but I've never been able to put the heat on a woman. Not like that. Just not great at putting the pressure on. But maybe if we do this together, good cop, bad cop. Not exactly low stakes practice, but we don't have much choice. Good cop, bad cop. Got it? I'll lead. Now what? I'm sorry. We don't mean to disturb you. If it's okay, we wanted to ask a few questions. And you're gonna answer. Oh, am I now? You don't look like the type that bites. You're the cleaner here, right? But then you never really know someone to handled their dirty laundry. Told you. I was telling my friend here that cleaners know everything that happens in a hotel. Like that girl they mentioned. This slash your partner? Does she leave skids? Nice. We wondered where she was. I already cleaned up your shit for you. Now you want me to wipe it for you too? Is that it? Yeah. And when you're down there, you're going to tell us what you know. Tell you what? Where they're keeping the girl. Why? Who's she to you? It's none of your business why we just want to know what room she's in. Is that all I am to you? Still some hanger. I clean this place so I can be like you and all you even do is look down on me. You just want an answer. I deserve to have the same choice you all get. Just calm. But Please, still, just... no one gives a shit. No one does anything Keep for me. Keep your voice down. We just want to know where Eleanor is. Well, that's fine. I like taking out the garbage. I like the pain. We'll go if you just tell us where Look, she is. Look, you getting all flustered. Didn't Mummy tell you not to t tell us where she is before I forget what my mother taught me? Oh, 
Paul, we make you a deal. You would do something for me? Yeah. Yes, I would. Room 10. Dr. Anderson says a girl called Melissa doesn't have to join in. I think she should. I will talk to her myself. I like the softer touch. Help clean that up for me, and I'll tell you. Fine. I'll talk to her. I'll wait in the queue. Patiently. Here. You'll need her room key. I was going to use it myself. Hurry back. I don't have to listen. I don't feel like talking. Dr. Aniston says I don't have to. Aniston? You don't know. Oh, I do. He's in charge. He... He dragged me here. He was trying to get my seatbelt off. That's how we met. The button was stuck. I couldn't see him in the smoke. I woke up on the road. I remember the smell. Burnt hair. And how he looked at me. Scared. He dragged me here and... Saved me, I suppose. Hmm. They all say I should be grateful. <sighs> but look at me. How can I be? I need your help. No. I, I just... I don't want to talk. I really need your help. I don't want to hear anything. You need to come with me. 
You're not my dad. I don't feel like talking to anybody. It's not fair. They got to choose. I never got to. They all just say I'm mean. They tell me to grow up. They just don't get it. If I don't say anything, it can't slip out. It's a secret. I don't like secrets. Mummy always said they were like heavy boots weighing you down. So I stay away. And they stay away from me. Expect you. What secret? What's your name? Melissa. Melissa, I'm Josh. I need you to help me. You need to come downstairs. Who wants me to? I do. If you promise not to leave me alone, then okay. Fine. They're mean, but okay. I did it once before, and I didn't like it. Look at me. But it can't be worse. Let's go. Have you come to join us, lovely? Oh, how wonderful. You'll have a great time. I'll come in with you. Here. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the price. <sighs> Screw you. Room 15. I'll piss off. Too late. We'll find her. <laughs> Where? 
You don't get it. She's downstairs with them. We can't get to her now. Well, find her. Jesus. Yeah, that's the first thing. The first thing you've said that's even sounded like you give a shit. The first time that you've sounded like her father. Why are you even here? She wouldn't even be here. If she was my daughter. Not mine. What? Eleanor. She's not my daughter. What are you talking about? You I never said that. In fact, I've never said that. Your name's on the birth certificate. Yeah. You kept me on there. For her sake. You know, maybe you're right. I don't even know why I've... You can't miss what you never had. Never really had. Why now? Your letter. And then she was looking. Christ, if you'd looked sooner than... It might have gone well. I didn't know what I was missing. Somehow I was safer this way. But now she's missing, and I... You're here. Come on, there must be something in here. Start looking. Rude to read a girl's diary. I know we've never met, but he's still my dad. That means we have a connection, right? The more scared I get, the more I know he's coming for me. So Eleanor doesn't know. <sighs> her mum wanted to keep it from her. Yeah, well, mums don't always know what's best. How'd you both meet? Happily. I spilt my drink on her in a bar. Didn't face her, she just laughed, which I loved. She was always so driven. Always looking for the next adventure. She even had a bag packed by the door, always ready. And suddenly one day, the bag went back in the wardrobe. She stopped going to work. Rushing to start a family. We've never even talked about it. Happened so quickly. I'm not sure I ever caught up. Is that when she cheated? No, she didn't get her writing skills from me, that's for sure. What do you think it is? I have no idea. I'm more of a shower guy myself. The fact you have a preference is sad. No, it's quicker than waiting for a bath. Never had the patience for it. I would lay in the tub for hours. Her smell. It's my father who drank Bushmills. Is he not around anymore? This doesn't make sense. We're on the second floor. This hatch would just lead to the bathroom downstairs, unless the whole place was designed for these hatches. Yeah, and this pipe, God only knows what. A bunch of people 
holed up in a hotel, wear masks, take baths and teenage girls. I don't get the connection. Thought you can't miss what you've never had. Sometimes you can't help but imagine. You should have reached out. You could have hired someone. There's plenty of people like me out there. Oh, shit. Really? Had a bear similar to that growing up. It's my favourite. Unless she still has it. You bought her that. Well, I may have left. I'm not completely heartless. Why would they bring that? You don't kidnap someone and bring their prize teddy along for the ride. She's 17. A whole bag of her stuff. What does that mean? This wasn't some random grab. Won't people be there? I'm scared. It's her writing. I'll sneak you out of the orangery. Mr. H. Well, at least someone's helping her. She used to lock me in the house when she popped out. My mum. I'd always find a way to sneak out. I'd head to the park in the summer. I'd force the boys to let me play football with them. There was this small car park with tall trees around it. That's where he grabbed me. I was too young to know what he was doing at the time. I even thought he'd let me go after. When that room finally got colder, I knew they couldn't find me. I'd think of Mum and Dad. I would sit in his crook when he watched his films. I remember seeing them pick the locks. Of course, it's much easier in the movies. I only have my hairpins. Much harder to learn. Took me a long time. When that door finally opened, I wasn't even that far from home. I outran all the boys that day. Across the park, the front door was unlocked. I ran straight in to find <laughs> Mum drunk. Dad had left. I'd stopped looking. Mum was happy at first, but that was soon drowned out. Didn't speak much after that. Every time I questioned her about it, she'd up and leave. Locked inside again. You should blame me for Dad. Sometimes wonder if I never left. <sighs> no, I didn't get your first name. I prefer Price, but it's Rebecca. 
Doesn't sound like it was your fault, Rebecca. It's hard to fail as a father. But he'll come around. I know he will. I don't think so. People don't change, even if they want to. They could be long gone. Ice is still hard. Look at all this stuff. It's labelled room 8 to 51. It's not just Eleanor he's smuggling. Or she. Well, it could be anyone. Why are they sneaking crap around? Their memories. Keepsakes. We're out of time. But we're getting together downstairs. We have to go. But they might have got her out already. I don't want to take that chance. We should get down there. We don't know who we're looking for. I won't leave her down there alone. I want her to know someone's here. Someone came to find her. You stay. Find out whose room this is. Don't get confused with shit that isn't theirs. Look for personal stuff. And don't leave me down there alone. You'll come looking for me, right? Yeah, of course. I'll meet you at the bar.
I found one. See, she has lots of friends. This is Grace, Sarah, Emily, and oh, I need to keep reading. Janice, I think. Like it. Yeah, I look, I'm taller now. You like that? No, I don't like it. Why? Tell me why you don't like it. Because I just changed my damn mind to Darius, that's why. Now get your ass upstairs and put on the other suit. Well, first of all, check your tongue. And second of all, I ain't changing. I'm feeling fresh. You just better stop your crying or I'll give you something to cry about. Okay. What are you going to do about it? I'll leave your ass here the whole term. Oh, yeah, I wish you would. What do you think? Bit of all right. I saw it early and I thought, yes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to taking this for a spin. Yeah, do you fancy a peek? Yeah, go on. No? All right, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, that will do. Now too nicely. Yes, yes. I'm feeling much better, but I'm not playing any more chess this term. You'll have to wait until the next swell. Besides, I'm not chess leader anymore, as I've been beaten. By the booze, I'll have you know. Not by that pervert. Come back another time if you want to talk. Perhaps when I'm in a better mood. To ask no doubt. Answers no. Failed to get enough signatures. A go? They'll refuse to change the wording. Jordan. I know you're supposed to start afresh, but this is important. I'll give it another crack next term. Span, I mean. Just hope she can last.
you don't know me, but I found you. Maybe we have a shot. If we work this out, we can finish this. Okay, sweeties, that's the mission bell. If you're happy with your fit, please make your way to the hall for the swell night celebrations. Speedily. <laughs> Mm. Is it too much? Oh. It's just that no one here is gay or straight or bi, uh, with every body swapping. It's uh, it's normal, and this is our culture, so I won't let it down. Look, Jules, by the way. How was your last? Um, oh. oh, the tea. <laughs> oh, I was bored playing office husband to a family of four in Singapore. I was as stiff as I am when Ireland play rugby. I know, alpha male sport, but... Oh, it's the shorts. I can't help but miss them now. But they weren't your real family. When has that ever mattered? Your family is who you make it. Nothing should stop that. How did you meet Dr. Aniston? No, oh. <laughs> working the stage at the Stonewall. Oh, back then, mamas and papas weren't ready for a steady queen. Then she found me. Let me spread my wings. Do you like music? Mm. <laughs> Oh, I 
live for Miles Davis. John Coltrane would give me a sax player any day. Nothing like jazzing things up. We are who we say we are. We have measured, we have fitted. The swell night dawns and with it the beginning of a new tide. Bring out the new verse. Should anybody here give any reason why this girl should not be given to Dr. Aniston? It's not too late. For the means of the call. We all need to walk away sometimes. Trust me. Speak now. I say I am. Gathered here to find the core, the question in all of us, what is the meaning of life? But perhaps the we is holding us back too general, too impersonal, too pressured to fit. Change can occur with time alone, without the benefit of a tide. Perhaps the question is flawed. Perhaps what we should be asking is what is the meaning of my life today? And if yours is this girl, then you have our blessing to leave with her. But first, 
You shall meet with Dr. Aniston. reason rats are bred in the lab. They don't bite. They have no experiences. Ergo, the cage doesn't frighten them. But parenthood frightened you. Am I right? Joshi? Have we met? Intimately. Though I never expected to again, not after I told you she wasn't yours. I knew it. I knew she wouldn't have... Not like that. It was you. You took her. Aren't you impressed? They've all swapped bodies. They all choose to, as did she. Adventurous one, your wife. Not unlike my husband, my real husband. It was his idea that we use the machine so that my work would be taken seriously as him. Well, it worked, of course. I transferred my consciousness into his. I miscalculated the trajectory and sent him into the walls of this building. I mean, I, I learned a valuable lesson that night. The machine requires a spherical design. You murdered him? I made history. By raising his. But they made me vow never to sacrifice another's experience to bring him back. The experience sparked a new thesis. Was his death in vain or now complete? See, the machine is no longer the answer, but the tool to walk in the footsteps of others and find a common core, a purpose. In life? Why did you come, Josh? Weren't you looking for a greater purpose than making others rich? I mean, we both know you never wanted children. That's why you were chosen. I came for her. Now you have her. What's that going to solve? You've seen the others, am I right? They, they're given the opportunity of lifetimes, squandered by their own personal prices. They just, they don't appreciate the sacrifice it would take. Only him. There's no evidence he can't return. You want to bring your husband back? Imagine what he's seen, what knowledge he could impart. I mean, whether there truly is a, a place beyond our own. I mean, even a god. By sacrificing Eleanor. Oh, one thing I know to be fact. This is the meaning of her life. She was bred for this. 
I almost envy her. Her life isn't meaningless. Far from it, sweetie. Her life is meaning. She will give us all purpose. All those who follow. After her, no other life will be wasted. Let me tell you why you came. For the experience. Give her to me. And you can keep that packed bag by the door. There is no waste in the scientific method. Only more answers. So... monsters here, Josh. We could force someone, but we follow a higher purpose. One governed by etiquettes. But the etiquettes forbid you from taking her without first proving her value to you. Hey!
Find me. That doesn't matter right now. Ellen. You're not mine. Your mother, she... Dad. I'm not your father. I mean, I am, but... I, I don't understand. No, no. We just need to leave. Come on, let's go. No, Dad, I don't need to Come go. On. Ow, Dad, you're harming me. Dad, I don't want... We need to leave! Mm.